Welcome back, YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Hopefully, guys, you, got, you guys enjoyed that first beginning a uh, couple minutes there. We pretty much have just been busting butt trying to get this thing together as quickly as possible. We made a couple AN fittings. We got the obviously got the thing up in the air and stuff. I'm gonna go over all of that. I want to thank you guys, all of you, for the feedback on uh, last episodes. Um, on the previous episode for the race truck build. We had a few people that were upset about how much I talked in that video, but I think it was really informative. I think that video was necessary. Um, I try to answer all of the questions here in the videos versus after, you know, down in the comment section. So I, I try to put across as much as I possibly can because it's easier when I can show you guys on video. So that's what I was trying to do. All right, so the first thing you probably saw that we did was we fixed our turbo oil line there. I decided that I actually wanted it to kind of go over this pipe versus under it. I think it'll be okay. Um, it doesn't have any clearance issues or anything like that. So really like the way that's looking. And then as you notice, we moved on to creating our AN style fittings. This nylon uh, braided stuff, I found that the masking tape actually works best around that. And then I actually put a clamp around it and that kind of held everything together. Cut it with the die grinder. Obviously, oil all your fittings. Um, this, These big big lines, big fittings, these are difficult to make, uh, but we were able to get those done because we really only had to make two of these uh, really long ones. So we got that all squared away, and that looks, I mean, just incredible. I love, absolutely love the way this is turning out. I'm so happy that I decided to just go ahead and do the two lines together along here like this. So <clears throat> really, really coming together. The other thing. Our intercooler pipes are completely bolted down. We got our Mishimoto clamps on there uh, looking amazing. We are eventually going to be taking this off, but you know, we want to get everything wrapped up before we get too crazy with all of that stuff. And then finally, guys, we have the race truck up in the air. We got the jack stands in the back, race ramps up front. That means it's time for this sucker to go back in. All right, so. Underneath the truck now, you can see we have our 6.7 fuel pump, uh, which we mounted up a while back. Everything's plumbed in for that. Uh, the secondary fuel filter, this is kind of where we're at. This is going to be kind of the general idea, I think, of what I want to do. We need to add some protection around that so that it can withstand the vibrations and everything. Um, I don't know if we're going to be using that style clamp. This is <clears throat> this setup's just going to be temporary, I think, for now. We'll get the fuel lines plumbed. You know, I think it's going to probably sit in that vicinity right there. So we'll get at least get the fuel lines ran. Uh, we'll double check for all fuel leaks and stuff like that before we uh, really set in stone uh, how we're going to mount this thing up. If any of you guys have any ideas around this area, let me know down in the comment section. As always, always appreciate it. Uh, when you guys do that for me. So we are going to go ahead and get our flywheel or... Our flex plate mounted up on the back of this engine here. Uh, we have to get our adapter piece on there, and then we can put the flywheel and the, or the, the flex plate on there, uh, and then we can do our torque sequence. So I'll set you guys up. We'll go ahead and get this thing thrown on, and then we'll be one step closer and move on some of our fuel lines. All right, so I need my phone because I got a picture on it to uh, for the torque specifications and the torque sequence that we're going to be following. But um, I'm going to need somebody to get out here and hold the front crank <clears throat> pulley so that we can torque all of these down. There is a there's two torque sequences that you have to do. One is in inch pounds, and then you switch to uh, foot pound. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that. I'll throw that information right here in a little picture uh, so that if you want to screenshot it, and you're going to be doing this soon. You have all that stuff too. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this done. And then uh, I'll catch up, catch up with you guys after. All right, so we got our flex or our flywheel on. Flex plate, guys. It's a flex plate. It's all torqued down. We did our two torque sequences. We went crisscross pattern, uh, just like it says to do in the manual there. Um, so we are pretty much ready to install the transmission before we do that though We need to go get a transmission jack, but we are also going to Route all of our fuel lines along here. We're gonna get them off of the 6-7 pump run them up to there and then actually run them 
up to there. And the last thing is I actually have, you guys can see that little port there uh, in the manifold. We do have an EGT probe that we need to install so we can plug that off and then run that up to the top. So we got a handful of stuff just to kind of clean up down here. Like I said, this is just temporary. We will get that taken care of for now. This will work. So uh, we're also going to get this weird wire out of here as well. I'm not sure what this guy was building on before me. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. We got a lot done. We got a lot accomplished. I do want to mention one thing. A couple episodes ago, I talked about my regulator. We set this thing up, uh, and it's got this little boost reference port on the side. I misspoke. I did a little bit of research. I was initially going to actually plug that, but from my research, I've determined that this is, uh, if you're not going to be using the boost reference port, this regulator actually uses it as a vent um, because of the diaphragm in there. And you can actually get a special fitting that goes into here uh, that actually has like a small screen on it and stuff. So um, we are going to be leaving it like that. We shouldn't have fuel coming out of there anyways. So uh, we do need to get this little gauge set up, put up up front there so we can check that. We're going to have the batteries. Uh, we've got to do the starter. Um, and basically just wrap up a handful of things. You know, we got to put oil in it and stuff. Um, we pick this up. Brand new, still in the box. We got our brand new 6-7 fuel filters. Um, so, like I said, guys, we're just kind of doing some minor things. And then, before you know it, we're going to have this thing running. So, the next episode, you guys will probably be watching me get the transmission in, get the drive shaft in. Hopefully, we'll be able to get those um, special fittings from the Parker store. Uh those quick connect fitting. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you guys are new, subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.